I'm Ashley Engel, your neighborhood reporter in Havana. Neighbors here have noticed a bit of a temperature change. It's a bit warmer, and I spoke with one nursery who tells me this type of weather is going to help their growing season, and they're hoping that this warm weather is here to stay and the freezes are done and over with something that Ashley May and his team prepares for every winter. As you can see, the white cloth we have out, we do bunch the plants back together, provide some protection to them. Hoping and praying a freeze wouldn't cause too much damage to their inventory. Plants actively growing, uh, the sap is flowing through the stems, and uh, much like your water pipes, um, if that sap freezes, those stems get cold, They'll the bark will split on them. May Nursery is a wholesale nursery in the neighborhood that sells to consumers along the East Coast and even as far as Canada. Ashley says since they do ship inventory to colder areas, their plants can take 15 degree weather if they are completely dormant or asleep. Last winter, the nursery lost over $100,000 worth of inventory due to severe cold temperatures and some of the plants not being in a dormant state in time. As for the warm weather now, if we have another week to 10 days of this kind of weather, uh, it will it will greatly affect the uh, growth of the plants. And then, you know, if we don't have any more freezes this year, it would be a good thing because all my plants will have a six week lead on spring, which means in April, they're just that much bigger. Ashley tells me some of their customers have held off on buying product, not because of the temperatures here in the Big Bend affecting the plant's health, but buyers are worrying about protecting the plant's life in their cold weather conditions due to the maturity of the plant. In Havana, I'm Ashley Engel, ABC 27.